what your product of the week <laughs> this shiny thing that has appeared should we just change this podcast to james talks about torches <laughs> <laughs> you are such a magpie for torches like you have, have you bought this no are you no. sure yes it's a demo it better be because this looks very expensive it is 1400 ish and what is it what is the name of this this is the apex luna x well if i can say from a design point of view what what's this this doesn't look like it's complete this looks like it's a bit missing <laughs> that's very that's very small look at this but, it's nice though, but isn't it? well it is but that that to me looks like there's something missing and like i would smack it off i don't know the top of a cave or something and it would just fall off it's a light not a hammer i don't know but it's like i don't know it's just i mean i can see now we're looking at upset there's there's two screws in this it's never going to come off but it just this is British I, I, engineering in all its glory. I guess I'm just used to seeing like another big chunk on the back of that. So what's the difference yes. between this and some of the other types of torches that I've seen? Why is it just that front bit? Because that's all it needs. I don't know. Well, why is the other one's got like a massive cylinder thing on the back <laughs> of it? <laughs> Most of the the uh, the umbilical torches are about that wide. I would probably say this is just because this is new tech. Right. You're kind of paying for it. Yeah, I know what you mean. So the way they're laid out. I don't actually know. I'm not a torch manufacturer. I don't know if that's to do with like heat sinks and because I mean originally it was a torch, wasn't it? So by the time you fit the bulb in and then all the electronics and then right. So because it's now like super duper LED stuff. Yeah, uh, because it's super super duper LEDs. So this is made by a well-known British torch manufacturer in another industry. I want to say the industry. Well, if you're it's, a cyclist, you'll it's know. It's cyclist, isn't it? Bike yeah, yeah. torches. Right, and that is a straight away, so these are proven and work. Um, yeah, and this is kind of Apex's version of it. So originally, I think it's the Goodman handle is why you're judging it. Oh, uh, why? Because this Goodman handle is actually for the the Luna torch, which is a torch with a battery. Uh, without this. Right. So non-umbilical. So right. basically they brought out an umbilical, but used the same Goodman handle. I mean... I've I've never actually used an umbilical torch before, but this just does not work for me. <laughs> look, at, no. look at the size of that on my hand. Like I can, I know with you, your big compers and your dry mm -hmm. gloves, and like that'd be perfect for you. But for me, like, what the hell am I going? I can't. I can't like. You would be able. To, it is adjustable, so you can make it smaller um, to grip your hand. But better. even wide, the wideness of it. I know. I, I think there needs to be a girl version. A girl version? Mm, smaller hands version. I think this is beautiful. <laughs> I disagree. This is not beautiful. It just looks wrong. I like the colour. And also how light it is. Oh, actually, that is very light for an umbilical torch. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the benefit on this one. You can tear this off. So you can adjust this if you want to change the orientation. So the beauty of that is this is now compatible for any kind of... Side mount, mount, side mount, twins, back mount, yeah. strap in the cylinder, you can orientate it however you want. Right. Whereas normally a lot of the torch manufacturers, you've got to change the cable to a 90 degree oh, cable. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So they have thought about that side of things. I think that's a very, very nice battery. Um, <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, just look at it. But, well, can I, but just from a colour point of view, those oranges are different. Yeah. So what's that about? Right, I'll tell you what, I really like this torch, I really like this battery, I'm not a fan of the Goodman handle. Right, so it's the Goodman handle that's the issue. Yeah, I can see what they've tried to do, it is nice compared to a lot of Goodman handles on the market in terms of comfort of that, but I don't know. So would this... The balance point feels wrong on me, so I need to get in the water and find out. Would this head fit any Goodman handle or is, are those mountain points going to be very specific to... No, it should. Right. You could probably just sort out the Goodman handle if that was where you inclined. See, that's where it is on all the AVEX photos. I think it should be kind of that way. That feels a nicer balance. But I can see why they've done it. They've done that to allow for the wrist. Right. Cause, but I don't think that'll dig in with my dry gloves. Right. Yeah. So what's the specs? I mean, we're just slating the colours at the minute. What's the actual specs? Of the that's kit? <laughs> I think it's a good bit of kit. Um, How many do it? people with it say... Max power is like 3,300 lumens for three hours or something like that. So bright. And then, um, right, so for it lasts three hours. The, the, On like the high power the max. The high power. 
which right. I think is pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Now, the beauty of this is, with it being the LEDs, you can see it's got lots of LEDs in there. <laughs> so, yeah. what I'm trying to say is, basically on a lot of other torches, you can have, you can buy a torch and it's just a narrow beam, and then you have to buy a different torch for a wide beam, or you buy a very expensive one, which you adjust so you can change the beam focus. Right. Whereas this, you can do all that. Right. So you've got high power, medium power, low power. Then you've also got ring. So it's just a nice big wide. You can have that nice big wide beam with a spot or you can just have the spot and on all three of them powers. Right. And in terms of select, are these the buttons? So yeah. So they don't look like buttons to me. So there's just two nice easy buttons there. Are they? Oh, right. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that was the on button. <laughs> that just played you. Yeah. And what we can also say is very intuitive, easy to use. Yeah. No need instructions, just press it and away you go. Um, but what I do really like is that display. Oh, yeah. So that's your runtime. So, yeah. So you can get a nice, clear, easy to use, and it gives you the runtime, and that's a live runtime yeah. as well. And you could use that as a hand warmer as well. <laughs> yeah, probably should turn it off. Um, yeah, so you get your runtime there. It also it's got colour coding for the battery life, but it just gives the runtime, which yeah. is more than enough. Like to say, I don't think any other torch on the market has got a live you're screen the, runtime. You're the torch guru. Yeah, there's a few manufacturers I'm not familiar with their new stuff, um, but certainly from the ones we deal with, they don't have that. They'll have maybe like a colour code where like you know, a blinker the, thing. Yeah, yeah, or you get an, it'll give like a, an early warning. So a couple of the torches will kind of dim a little bit so you know all right the battery's on its way um like a get me home type of yeah. type of feature but this yeah. actually live tells you exactly how long you've got left which i think is pretty cool it's yeah like i said from a high-end manufacturer yeah so in theory it's less likely to fail but you're kind of paying for that yeah but also with this being a nice sealed head it's less likely for a dive at a brick so, oh, so you can't like unscrew it and no, get into the gubbins yeah, of it there's nothing getting in the gubbins there's only really the cable right um and the, to charge just that cable comes off and like a few of the torches i've seen that have different size batteries mm -hmm. like is, can you get different batteries or is it just one just one yeah and it is flight safe blah 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 so you can travel with it well we better get out diving and test it then i certainly think it's a nice bit of kit it wants to be for the price <laughs> i think the <laughs> Done well on the price point there. You think? Because the lower torches, I think, are quite expensive. Like the, for what they are, like yeah, the do like a non umbilical version of this, and then there's the smaller kind of uh, standard torch. They cells, are, they are pricey. Um, which are pricey, but they are sealed units. Mm -hmm. There's no batteries to tear out and put away, and it's just a wet USB charger. There's nothing the diver can break. Right. So that does give you the advantage if something does break. The manufacturer kind of say, "Oh, well, you did this wrong or that yeah. wrong. It's not. It's broke." And they'll. It's definitely a them issue, not a you issue. Yeah, and they'll sort it out for you. Um, whereas this is coming in at, I think it's fourteen eighty or something. The sharks, oh, six hundred or something off the top of my head. But that is a really cheap torch for what it is. Right. And I love it. I think it does the job and what it needs. But if you want, if you like the high end engineering. Compared to most of the Amnites are around that, if not more. Yeah. So it depends what you want. If you just want a good, well-made, high-end torch that works that's and that's light. all you're going to use it for, that's and it's very light for traveling yeah. and stuff like that, ah, you kind of go wrong with that one, yeah. I think. Um, if budget's more your concern, all right, this is the shark. If you want modularity and things with like heating batteries and stuff like that and messing about and changing stuff, there's the Amnite. But I think the Amnite's a bit more expensive. If I remember rightly. And what, just, well, what on, what's that case? This is the case that comes in. That's quite nice. Yeah, nice. Shazzy case. Yep, we'll get it tested. Mm hmm Yes, so that's the plan of the videos, getting some videos of torches in the water. Hopefully.